Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up Windows 7 or Windows 8 using some registry hacks, and also, yeah, just going to show you some tips and tricks to actually speed up Windows 7. As well as it being a fast operating system in the first place, these little changes we're going to make today to the registry and stuff like that are going to make it even faster, which, you know, should give you guys quicker boot times, uh, allow menus to load up faster, and just stuff like that. Now, first of all, you want to click on the Start button. If you're in Windows 8, well, if you took the update, you will have a Start button, but click the Start button and type in reg reg edit this will take you to the registry editor but you need to make sure you right click it and click run as admin hold control and shift uh, when, when you click on it that will also run as admin now what you've got to do guys um once you're in here is you want to be clicking on hq local machine this is a this is a local setting we're going to be changing first so yeah, first we're going to change the ntfs uh the disable uh last access update so this is going to be disabling that setting and um, on a file generally windows will, will kind of update a file to say when you last accessed it and to me that's a pretty pointless attribute when what's the point going to a file to see when you last you know watched the file or played some music what's the point in that I, I don't really see the point in that so we're going to be disabling that and that will increase uh you know loading times and stuff like that uh because yeah windows writes that attribute to files and it's pointless so if we disable it it's gonna be faster now go to h key local machine then you want to be going to system you want to be going to current control set and then from there you want to be going to control and then on here you want to be going to the file system and on here you should see uh, the ntfs disable last update so you want to right click on here click modify then you want to change this value to a one it would be a zero zero means off one means on that simple binary lesson for you there but yeah you want to change that to one and then click ok and next up guys we're going to be changing the uh, wait to kill service now if you just go up and click on the actual control menu you should see it here and it's wait to kill service timeout so this is in milliseconds so it's 12,000 milliseconds which is essentially uh, 12 seconds so once you click start and shut down the computer is going to wait 12 seconds until it absolutely kills all of the actual uh, services so your pc can shut down instead of having this at 12,000 simply change it to 2000 so instead of taking 12 seconds it'll take two seconds which in turn will make your pc shut off a lot quicker so click ok now to be honest my origin for some weird reason here I, Sometimes when I click shut down, to be honest, most of the time, it's like Windows is waiting for this to close. This is the way to, way to uh, you know, fix that. So change this to two seconds, it should just close down uh, straight away. Now next up, guys, we're going to be changing the menu show delay. So say if you click your start button and you, and you hover over something like computer or network, as you can see, look, the, the little descriptions that pop up. So, so you see where it says, see the disk drives under the hardware connected to your computer. That, that little pop up there with the text, that takes a bit to you know actual pop-up and when when you're hovering o over files it, it does really bug me to hell especially when you're trying to look at say you know uh what should just say when you're trying to hover over files see how big it is and when it was like created and stuff it really bugs me so what you want to do here is you want to be going to the h key current user so currently we're on the local machine so i want to get out of that so current user and then once you're in the current user, you want to be going to the control panel, and then you want to be going to desktop. Then when you're when you're on desktop, it should be a little setting in here, and it should be called um, menu show delay. So it's in here, like menu show delay, and it's set to 400. So that's just so that's in milliseconds. That's about half a second. Instead of being 400, change it to something like 40 or or 50 milliseconds. I think I'm going to change mine to a, about um, 50 milliseconds there and then click OK. All register changes you do guys, your PC does require a restart to take them into effect. Let's just have a look. Yeah, this all taking quite a bit to load up, but as you can see, you can actually change these. I am going to change mine to um, 25 because it really does bug me actually. And yeah, that's still, still not loading up straight away. But as I just said, you do need to restart. Now, next up, guys, we're going to be changing um, some of the services, disabling some services. So you want to get out of here. You want to click Start, and then you want to type in Services. Then you should click on Services here. Not the component services, just the services here. And then just right-click and click Open. Now, once you're into the services for the actual local machine, just expand this here where you can see the name of all the services. And the first thing that we're going to be disabling 
um, here is the actual uh, Windows search. Now, especially our, if you don't use the search feature um, and stuff like that, and also if you actually don't find yourself searching a lot, or if you think it's a pretty pointless kind of feature, and if you're one of these people that know where all your files are, like myself, and for someone that don't think you actually benefit from indexing, Windows does actually use quite a lot of system resources indexing in the background, so disabling this will um, will indeed uh, really help speed up you know, launching files and stuff like that. So right click on it and click stop. And as well as this, what you want to be doing is clicking on properties and then you want to be clicking on disabled and then clicking apply, then okay. I suppose you could just click okay there, but there well. So there we are, Windows search has now been disabled. Now as well as this, if you guys do have an SSD, you want to disable the service, which is called Superfetch. As you can see here, look, Superfetch is here. Mine's actually on manual at the moment. But what you want to do is just click on properties. And yeah, you want to change this to disabled. Mine's actually on manual right now. Um, for, for a lot of you guys, it might be on automatic or, or automatic delayed start, but change it to disabled. If you have an SSD, this actually, this setting being disabled is actually going to speed up your PC. If you've got a hard drive, leave it on because that will enable you to load up things faster if, you, if you've got a, a traditional mechanical hard drive, but put this to disabled if you have an SSD. SSDs are fast enough and they do not need super fetch. Um, so yeah, disable that and you'll be nice to go. So that's enough of the services. Uh, so we've changed uh, three registry changes up to now. We've done two uh, service kind of changes with super fetch and also the the window search so now guys we're actually going to move on and put in register changes and everything um, you know aside well we're going to be going into the MS config so type in MS config into your start button and then and start button you know, search thing whatever and then you should see the program pop up here so MS config .exe. right click run as admin it's important to run as admin now this is your system configuration, this tells your PC what to boot and everything like that. Now a good way to actually speed up your system in general is if you go to services, no, startup, sorry, go to startup and then you should see a list of programs that your PC is told to start up. Now by default all of these should be ticked but just untick the things that you don't actually need to start up um, when you start them up. So say iTunes, why does iTunes need to start up? If I want to use iTunes, I will launch iTunes. Now, you need to keep stuff like your drivers and everything, you know, there. I mean, my audio manager, I've got to have that. My Xbox control thing, that's like a driver, so that's got to be there. There's a lot of Intel common um, user interfaces, my GeForce drivers, Steam, Origin. I like Steam and Origin to actually load up so they can update when I first have my PC on. So then if I do later want to go on a game, everything's up to date. I've got a Hamachi client, that could actually go away. Um, yeah, my keyboard, AVG, and also my Logitech um webcam driver they all need to start so just, just click apply and that'll save all that the more of these you disable the faster your PC is going to start up now talking about your PC starting up guys what you want to be changing is if you actually go to boot click on advanced options you'll see here number of processors by default that won't be ticked and I'll be using one processor to start up your system this is one core of your CPU so if you guys have got a quad core like I have or if, if you've got a dual core six core even an octo core processor with eight cores Click the button here, number of processors, and select the maximum number, and then click OK. This is going to allow you to, um, well, this is going to tell your system to use all of the CPU power to load up the, the operating system, which in turn is going to give you better, um, you know, load times. Now what you can also do is click this button here, no uh, GUI boot or GUI boot. This is a graphical user interface, and generally when you load up Windows, you see a little Windows logo and anime, especially in Windows 7. To be honest, it's, it's, it's pretty cool and pretty good to look at, and you know, you know your PC setting up. But if you're not that fussed, click this button, it'll disable it, and because it doesn't have to load that little animation up at the start, it'll be faster. But I personally like that, so I'm gonna untick that and then just click OK. Now then guys, now we're finished with all the kind of changes, there's just two kind of preferences that you can change. Now if, if you go to your start button, type in power options, and then just click on power options here. Now by default yours might be on power saver or balanced, click on high performance and I'm going to change you some settings to actually, well I'm, I'm going to tell you some settings to actually change in here. So click on change advanced power settings and you should get this menu here. Click this one here. Now, I'm just going to go through these, and if you guys want to, you know, 
copy of the exact settings, I've got to be a pretty good idea. Turn off hard disk, never. Internet Explorer, JavaScript, maximum frequency, desktop uh, background settings, slideshow available, wireless adapter settings, you want this on maximum performance, sleep, uh, so you've got your sleep after is never, allow hybrid sleep off, hibernate after never, and allow wake timers disabled. This is weird, this because this can make your PC turn on, on itself, it's weird. USB settings is uh, USB selective suspend, you want that on disabled. Uh, the power buttons and, uh, and lid. If you've got a PC, you'll just see the power button. If you've got a laptop, you see the lid. And this is just this is just an action of what will happen when you close the lid or click the power button. So if I click the power button on my PC now, it'll shut down, or you can change it here. That's if you didn't know. This is up, up to preference, to be honest. That one. PCI Express, you want to be changing this to off. Uh, processor power management. So you've got your minimum processor state, you want that at zero, so it'll underclock when you're not doing anything, save power. System cooling policy should be on active, so you have to cool your system. Maximum processor state should be on 100%, so you're using all of your CPU's kind of juice when your PC needs it. Display, uh, turn off display 15 minutes. This isn't to put some gear screen saver on, this is to turn the monitor off. This is just, PCs can send signals to monitors. Yeah, I'm not sure if this works on TVs, but with computer monitors. So this is displays uh, like, like what Asus make, um, you know, proper companies that make monitors, yeah, not televisions. So this will turn it off, 15 minutes. Uh, Windows Dream Scene settings, you might not have this, this is kind of custom thing that I installed, but you've got power saving mode, it's just on high performance. If you get an option between power saving and high performance, just shove it on high performance. And then lastly, you should have multimedia settings, which should be when playing video and when sharing media, you should have prevent idling to sleep and optimize video quality. And then finally, just click the OK button and then close that. All good. Now then guys, one last thing that I want to cover is temporary files. Temporary files use space and yeah, yeah, they're temporary. Your PC keeps them for some stupid reason. So, stupid reason. I've been disconnected from origin, who cares? Now, you want to click on run and then in here, you want to actually type in temp. You click OK and it'll take you to your temp folder. Here we are. Now, Control A, that'll select everything. Right click and click properties and look how much it's using. To be honest, I have just cleared mine the other day, so it's only using 14 meg, but this can go all the way up to about 50, you know, f you know, 40, 50-ish gig, depending on what you're doing, so it's worth deleting that. So there we are, guys. That has been a guide on how to speed up Windows, and yeah, hopefully, guys, your Windows experience should now be um, somewhat faster. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what any of these settings do, just please uh, put them in the comments, and uh, yeah, be sure to get back to them. And uh, yeah, without further ado guys, please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.